What would you do if I say? I'm telling you, you want to start going together, man. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. Hey, stop it. Hey, say you're sorry. Man, she's tough. I know. I dig it. It's weird to grow up in a time when your mom and dad have to give you the police talk, or when a presidential election creates a racial divide. But it was 1968, the year I turned 12, the age of locker rooms, bullies, hey, four eyes, <laughs> and girls. My mom's making me wear pantyhose. Yuck. Yeah. Yuck. 12 was the age I was gonna figure out what my bag was. I'd never be as popular as my sister, as smart as my mom, or as bad as my dad. Be cool. What kind of music professor would I be if my daughter didn't go to college? Bad enough my son doesn't have rhythm. Hey! Yet. My son doesn't have rhythm yet. Front of the box, watch the fastball. Back of the box, watch the curve. <laughs> If you got a problem with the way I coach, say so. But you stick to the Dubai knees, and I stick to the one, two, three. That doesn't even make sense. He just rock. Some people didn't feel like we needed to mix black people with white people. I didn't understand all that. What's happening, Chad? How's it going, Quentin? Black like Jesus, you're trying too hard. But I decided what my bag would be. The Great Uniter. Think about how blessed it'd be to have our teams play each other. Why would you want to play with a bunch of white boys? Why does that matter? How do you know if you don't try? Isn't that what you're always telling me? What would you do if I feel I different everywhere I go. From where I'm with Corey and Brad, you stand up we all feel different. I finally get to feel the same as everybody else. Oh, baby, Little things that you remember all your life. Your first hit, your first kiss, the first time your dad lets you know that he sees you. Well, I still hadn't had the other two, but boy, did that third one feel good. 